Unlock Magical Hours with Twilight AI is our topic today on Luminar Coffee Break. Let's see what we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Hello, everyone, and welcome. All right, so for the next four weeks, we're going to dive in and talk about all the new enhancements of Luminar Neo. Uh, so the first three weeks, we'll talk about the different tools. And then the last week, what I want to do is show you a lot of the cool little features that the development team snuck in just to make the user experience much better. All right, let me dive in. So here we are. In fact, Asia, one of my... Um, Team leaders actually took the shot when we were in Las Vegas. Here's before and after. Ready? We were chasing the sun, and notice it was still broad daylight almost. So here, this is what the shot looks like. This is what I envisioned. This is what I would have loved to have captured. But again, timing-wise, it didn't allow for it. So let me show you what I did here. Off to the side, you'll see... The different tools that I set, and here it is at Twilight Enhancer, that right there did the majority of the work, and then of course I did a little relighting to, to, to dial it in. So I'm going to discard everything, and we're going to start from the beginning. So the image itself really doesn't need processing, because when I come right down here to the landscape tools, let me close some of these up for us, there we go. So here's landscape. And I'm going to click on Twilight Enhancer. Now I have a choice. Nothing is going to appear yet until I adjust the amount. So I'm going to adjust the amount. And now we have different uh, light, different light scenarios from golden hour to the blue hours and so on. I am going to click blue hour. Now notice it doesn't do everything, doesn't do anything spectacular right away because this image was shot during the day. So, I do have to lower the exposure a bit. Now that I have that set, notice it changed to custom. Well, the sky temperature, I can adjust that a little bit. Look, look what I'm doing. In fact, I'm going to go back to this for a moment. Blue, there we go. And take the exposure way down, because I want to leave that temperature where I had it. I'm not going to mess with Dawn. We'll go through that in a moment. Scene. I'm not going to mess with the relight, the human, but here's the shade. Look what it's doing. Look how it's giving me the shade I need for this area here. And let's come back up in here. I'm going to take the amount all the way. There we go. Now it's getting the, the, the blue hour that I'm looking for and the temperature get a little, a little more intense. Here's Dawn. Dawn's not going to play a key in this because I'm not seeing the horizon. So I'm going to leave that alone for a moment. We already did the scene. There's my saturation. There's my feathering. I don't need to worry about water, and I don't need to worry about the mask refinement because the mask refinement looks good. I like where it's at. All right? However, what I do want to do is adjust some of the tint. Oh, look at that. Just to see what the tint's doing for me. I like it here. I'm going to bring that, that exposure quite a bit. All right. So I'm going to leave it right here for now. So it's giving me the base that I'm looking for. Now I'm going to come in. And this is where the relight tool is going to play a role. What's closest to me, I want to get a little bit darker. And what's further away from me, there we go. I do want to get that a little bit darker. And I can adjust the depth. All right, there we have it. So I still have to rely on some of the other tools to help sell the, the, the blue hour. Because remember, this was shot in broad daylight. Not broad daylight, but with very, very, a lot of light in the scene. So we're trying to mimic what golden hour or blue hour would look like. So I have that set. And I do want to come over to my essential tools. 
structure. And the, there we go. I want to bring back a little more structure to the scene. But you know what? I really don't want it too much on the bottom half of the image. So mask. Let's use our mask AI. And it's going to find the, the mountain. There we have it. I did a pretty good job, but I do need to come back with the brush. And I want to add to that here, here, and right up in here. So now structure is being added to everything that's red. Well, that's not what I want. So I'm going to invert it. And now the sky got what I was looking for. All right. And there we have it. So here's before. Here's after. And as always, I did create um, a preset. So let's check out the preset real quick. And on my presets, as it comes up, there we go. There's Twilight. Now, I did a little bit more adjusting, so let's see what I did differently. Here. There we go. And edit. Good. Here it is. This is all the same. Here it is. With that Twilight Enhancer, again, it changed to custom. The amount, exposure. There's the sky. Again, I left Dawn alone. And we worked it from here. All right. So now that we have that set, you can see uh, the different looks that we can get with it. Let's dive a little bit deeper into the Twilight tool. So under Landscape, Twilight, let's click on the information icon right here. Now, this is telling us exactly what the tool is doing. But let's click on Learn More. And now it takes us right to our user, our user guide. And here we are. It's going to tell us everything we need to know about this tool. Now, you just saw it in action. But if you want to spend time and really understand that tool, go to the help section. And the part that I really want you to look at is this right here, the Dawn. Dawn enhancement or Dawn adjustment. All right. That Dawn adjustment, again, it's that's a selective tool. Because if I saw, saw the horizon line, that would do a phenomenal job. That would do a phenomenal job for me on that horizon line and make it look really sharp to where I can actually do a gradient. Now, for that particular image, it would make sense because you couldn't see the line itself. All right? Well, there we have it. That's our new tool. Um, and we could change it from golden hour to blue hour. It's up to you. But keep in mind, it's always best to try to get it accurate in camera. So use that tool, use that tool when we don't have it, when we don't have that um, chance to photograph at Blue Hour. All right? Well, guys, thanks so much for joining us. If you're here, please stick around for the Ask Me Anything segment. Everyone else, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you at the next Coffee Break.